Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Well, we've been teasing it for a few weeks, and I got to be honest, it's been several months in the works. But today, we debut our brand new weekly music segment featuring all of the live music you can handle in the area by the only person that can really bring it to you. Intrigued? You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. But first, we have some news and weather, so let's get into it, shall we? The Anne Arundel County Police have suspended one of their own. An officer was charged with second-degree assault and false imprisonment. Corporal Tyler Brennan has been suspended with pay pending the outcome. His police powers have also been suspended. The Capitol did some digging and found out that this is a result of a chest bump to his girlfriend and then blocking the door with his body to prevent her from leaving. He's a nine-year veteran of the department and assigned to the patrol division. Chief Awood said that the allegations are, quote, concerning, and they will cooperate with the Office of State's Attorney to investigate the allegations. Well, the Maryland State School Board has said that masks in schools are optional if the COVID spread is considered moderate by the CDC or the vaccination rate is over 80 percent in the school and surrounding communities. Currently, spread is considered substantial here in Anne Arundel County, and we have less than 80 percent of the staff and students vaccinated. So masks still will be required here in Anne Arundel County. However, if the transmission rates decline, the masks may be coming off. This regulation, like the one requiring the mask in the first place, will need legislative approval, likely to be granted during this special session, which just started on Monday. In cool news, and most of our cool news seems to come from the library these days, but they just launched a revamped website at aacpl.net. And to go with that, a refreshed logo that looks really sharp. The old one had been around since the 1990s, and the website hadn't seen an update in 10 years. As they celebrate their centennial, they are doing a number of different events. And yesterday, they stuffed a time capsule that will be passed around and stored for 25 years when it is reopened by families that pledge to return to the area in 25 years to open it. Items included in the capsule are from today's library offerings, a Wi-Fi hotspot, scrapbook images from the library over the past 100 years, a mask and hand sanitizer, of course, library T-shirts, reading clubs, bookmarks, and a copy of the Capital Gazette, along with a beer can. And no, the library is not selling beer, not yet anyway, but they did include a can of the special brew for the library from their Cheers to 100 Years event this fall when local brewers crafted a special brew just for the library. You can learn more at aacpl.net slash 100 years, and that has the number 100 in there. And if you don't have one, go get a library card and see what today's library is all about. Hey, plant lovers, Propa has launched. You may recall a podcast we did with Pat May a month or so ago about his new startup based here in Annapolis, which is kind of like a match.com for plants. Well, he just had the official launch. The site and the app are now live, and they allow you to track your plant's growth and development and also to share that news and the actual plant with others. Say you're looking for some rare house plant that you can't find here in the area. Check out Propa and connect with somebody across the globe who has that plant. Get a seedling or a shoot or start growing your own. Pretty neat. You can scroll back and listen to our podcast or you can head to getpropa.com for all the links and the downloads for the apps. And that is G-E-T-P-R-O-P-A dot com. All right, you have about a week and a half to either find or buy your Speedo. The 14th annual Santa Speedo Run is happening on the 18th at 11 a.m. at O'Brien's in downtown Annapolis. You want to bring a toy for the Salvation Army Toy Drive and be prepared to run or stroll at around the crack of 12.15 p.m. If you're more of the gawking type, you're more than welcome to come as well, but do bring a toy for the admission and enjoy the laughter-filled day and some great music from Timmy Metz and Tambo. You can find all the details at santaspeedorunannapolis.com. And if you do plan to run, you do need to register and pay for it so you can make sure that you get the official swag. 
As we start to wrap it up for the news, remember that I am working on a Google map that will list the amazing holiday light displays all across the county. If you know of a great display, send me the address or the closest cross streets, and I will make sure I add it to the map. You want to email me at info at ionanapolis.net. All right, that's it for the news. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company, and the Hospice of the Chesapeake. All right, so now hang tight. George Young from DC MDVA Weather is standing by with your locally forecast weather report. And yes, he does mention snow, but please keep your wits about you. Marylanders are really embarrassing when it comes to snow. And then the big debut of our new segment. All of that in just a bit. Hello, Sean Lynch here from the team at Galway Bay to tell you about our very own Irish eggnog. This wonderful creamy drink is a handcrafted, traditional-style eggnog distilled and bottled in Ireland. It's made from an old Irish recipe with a blend of alcohol, spices, and Irish cream that is completely unique and has now become an Annapolis tradition. When you visit one of our local restaurants here, either at Galway Bay in historic downtown Annapolis, Killarney House in Davidsonville, or Brian Brew in Severna Park, please mention this ad to your server or bartender to get a complimentary taste. Share this delicious concoction with friends and family for a thoughtful and unique holiday gift. Available by the bottle, case, and half case at all three locations. Or go to our website at galwaybaymd.com for further information. Also available at Pirates Cove Restaurant and Dock Bar in Galesville. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend, too. Now, here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey, everyone, this is George with DCMDVA weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, December 8th. Yesterday brought a winter-like chill back to the region after Monday's very warm temps, and it will stay cold through Thursday before temps warm back up again Friday into the weekend. Look for a rain-snow mix Today, with little, if any, snow accumulation expected, as highs reach into the upper 30s to maybe lower 40s in spots, followed by mixed skies tomorrow and highs 40 to 45 degrees, before temps jump back up into the 50s on Friday, before a big warm-up Saturday with upper 60s to maybe mid-70s in spots for p.m. highs, with more rain Saturday into Sunday, as temps then drop back down into the 50s to cap off the weekend. And looking ahead, temps are expected to be above average on the whole for at least the next couple of weeks, if not the remainder of December. So chances for additional snow will be slim to none for a while after today's flakes fly. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our relaunched website at dcmdvaweather.info. And of course, make sure you download our app on all of your devices by searching DC MDVA Weather from the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services, with your Clean Energy Minute. Does your home experience power outages? Or maybe you're concerned about energy resilience in general. If so, that's another great reason to consider clean, quiet, solar-powered energy with battery backup. You may have heard residential solar adoption has rapidly increased during the pandemic for multiple reasons. And many homeowners, like yourself, are adding battery backup and electric vehicle charging to their solar projects. And with Maryland's residential energy storage, income tax credit, along with the federal tax credit for batteries when paired with solar, the economics are quite compelling, and that secure feeling is even better. So whether you're looking for clean energy, energy resilience, or overall peace of mind with solar energy, we can help. To schedule a free solar design, call us today at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. But hurry, sunshine's a-wasting. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. The music scene in Anne Arundel County is popping, and sometimes it's hard to sort through it all. From blues to pop, from funk to ska, Beeper Buzz has it all covered for you in this week's Annapolis After Dark. Good morning, Annapolis. Beeper Buzz here with your Annapolis Music Spotlights for the Week. Find the daily and weekly music schedules on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok on pages Beeper Buzz and Annapolis Streaming. Just like Annapolis weather, the music schedule changes constantly. 
The Annapolis Streaming schedule is current and updated on our websites at annapolisstreaming.com and beeperbuzz.com. Welcome to Annapolis After Dark. Here are my local highlights for Wednesday, December 8th through Sunday, December 12th. Find the full schedule of music for all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas on Annapolis Streaming Facebook event and on the websites annapolisstreaming.com and beeperbuzz.com, spelled B-E-E-P-R-B-U-Z-Z. Wednesday nights are full of residencies. Every week, Ben Heemstraw is up at Gary's Grill in Severna Park at 5 p.m. for their $6 burger night. And just across the street, Larry Lay is at Brian Brew from 6 to 9. Down the road in Arnold, you'll find Joey Harcum every Wednesday at Mother's from 7 to 10. On Thursday, we welcome back a favorite holiday tradition in downtown Annapolis, Midnight Madness, week two, where you can shop until midnight. Like previous years, music will be all over the streets. I recommend you check out DJ F04 playing at the Christmas Tree by Market House from 6 to 10. I also recommend you look for the Chesapeake Revelers who carol up and down Maryland Avenue every year. Thursdays also mean music at Julep. This week, catch McFly, and no, not the McFly from Back to the Future, but Michael McHenry and Marty Bouchard of Michael McHenry Tribe playing from 6 to 9. Our famous musician slash birding expert Dan Haas will be at the point from 5 to 8. Weekend Music Friday night, catch Brant Austin Dunn at the Cozy Reynolds Tavern starting at 7. Friday night is going to be killer at 49 West. First show, 7 p.m., Ruben Dobbs and Pete Best. Second show, 9.30, Valoris, Joey Harcum, and Scribe. Can you believe Annapolis Smokehouse is turning 9? That flew. The birthday party is Friday with Starbelly playing at 9 p.m. Saturday, find Chris Button at Sullivan's Cove. Find Michael K. of Pretty Big Deal at River Bay Roadhouse. This is a duo I am very happy to see back on the schedule. Lauren and Rusty is going to be at Brian Brew from 7 to 10. Jesse Marie and Jason Kears will be at Blackwall Hitch. And at Ramshead Roadhouse, Tommy McGee Band. Also on Saturday night, up the road at Twain's Tavern, which used to be Bamboo Bernie's, you will definitely want to catch Vertigo Red from 9 to 1 a.m. You may remember them from the Polar Bear Plunge a few years back. And Saturday at Dark Horse, which used to be the old Ebb Tide, with Fess Up. Last but not least, Sunday Fun Day. Start it with brunch with Aaron Hawkins of Loose Ties at Gary's Grill from 10 to 1. Catch Mac and Blue at Brian Brew from 3 to 6. Then end the day with Jay Crawdads at Tsunami, who starts spinning the vinyl there every Sunday night at 9.30. This was just the highlights for the music coming up in our area. The complete daily listing can be found on AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com. Fridays, you can look at the entire weekend or pick a specific day to view. Our daily music schedule covers all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas. It is also updated to include changes. Music is definitely back, so stay up to date by watching our socials and websites. Know before you go with Annapolis Streaming and Beeper Buzz. See you out there. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. I always look forward to November as I think of it as a whole month to focus on gratitude. I am incredibly grateful to our past and current clients who have entrusted us with the sale of one of their largest assets, their homes. Over the past two years, that's nearly 200 individuals and families who we've had the privilege to serve. I'm grateful that we get to be a part of their lives when their families grow, grateful to be trusted when a loved one is lost or becomes ill, grateful to be a part of helping someone become a homeowner for the very first time, and grateful to be a part of someone's moving onto the water or finding a second home retreat. I'd like to take this opportunity to challenge you to think of the people in your life that you are grateful for. Friends, family, coworkers, service providers, and so many others. Reach out and let them know. And if we can help you with a move in the future, give us a call. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.